Tommy, what an absolutely sensational turnaround by the boys out there today. Yeah, it's pleasing when you win coming from behind. It shows they've got a bit of metal, a bit of minerals. Um, but I thought it was a really good game. Both, both teams tried to play the game the right way, I thought. Um, won a lot of incidents that I felt were needing of officials, to be honest with you. But um, we're disappointed to go behind because I felt we had a really good foothold in the game in the first half. And we talked to the lads about our routes to goal were slightly, and I felt, were nu more numerous than theirs. And we ended up scoring the both ways that we did, uh, exactly what we talked about. But unfortunately, in fairness to the lad, he's pulled out a hell of a goal. You know, that will happen 10 times in a season and once it'll go in the goal. But you've got to give him credit. He's gone on to a loose ball and he's flipped it and it's flew in the goal. So I'm really pleased because if we'd have gone and won 1-0, 2-0 and then 2-1, then I'll be more disappointed because we've conceded a goal. But to show, like I said, a little bit of metal and a really quick response from the, our first goal, that's unusual. Um, against a good side, good manager, knows what he's doing and they have a real way of playing. So as you can tell, I'm really buoyed, but it is what it is. You know, it's the, it's the last game, it's gone. We've now got a, a focus on Maidenhead and hopefully if we produce that kind of performance as we have done in the last four or five weeks, continually to now in the end of the season and, you know, we'll do fine. Well, that's it. You've touched on it there. Obviously, you're going to, we were going to be disappointed going one behind the manner of the first half. But is that credit to the lads that they, you know, just just got on with it and they got back into the game themselves, or was it a bit of a push from you guys on the on the dugout? Or all in it together, as far as I'm concerned. The fans play a huge part. They didn't. They stayed behind the group, and we and we. Sh I think we reacted really well to the goal going in our net. We were already in waiting to get going when they came back to the to the reset. So. That shows you something. Also, I have to mention, there's, there's 11 lads in front of me, five behind me, and three or four in the stand. And I can tell Andy staff, and every single one of us want to win that football match. And I think that, married with the 2,200 of the Shots fans in the, in the building on the day, um, that helps us get over the line. I'm telling you, it's, that end sucks the ball in the goal. It's no coincidence we're scoring more goals up there than we are down there. So. Let's keep it going together. And obviously Kwame getting on the score sheet just after coming on. It, it must be so nice to be able to throw him on when the defence are kind of getting tired, isn't it? Well, we've got a really good blend here. Age, ability, lads who have certain qualities that I might see that other people don't see, but I, I know that they're beneficial in the group. So, listen, we're now, I'm not a genius. We needed a slight change. They dropped off after they'd scored, didn't have a lot of space in behind them. So, Jack Borham isn't going to get that space in, in place to, to run into. So the obvious one is to go and have a bit more presence. He's brave as a lion, Kwame, and he's not only excellent in their box, but he's a mass, he's a man mountain in our box. You watch that, you watch the set players or the balls that go in the box when he's there, very re rarely does he not get the first contact. So he's ended up there with a busted snot box, I think. So uh, so uh, we'll have to hopefully get some ice on him and, and hopefully reel him out again on, on Monday at training. It was a quick turnaround, isn't it? But this is only going to be uh, create that momentum that we really need to go to get moving forward. Yeah, like I said, I think I said it to you on Friday. You know, the lads are in a good place mentally and mostly are in a good place physically, apart from his nose. Um, and we went through that three or four week period where it was Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. We've had a couple of full weeks training, which I think's refreshed everybody, re-energized. We've managed to get one or two out on loan. We managed to bring one in, one or two in, which is again refreshed the group. So. Um, Maidenhead will bring a completely different um, issue or problem to us, but another side with a bloke who I absolutely admire, you know, hugely, because he's he's moved with the times, Alan, and he was a fantastic footballer, and you've got to put him up there as, as one of the best managers at this level because he's been around for so long. So he's got a knack of getting it done and getting results, and we've got to be on our metal. I haven't looked at the results yet of anybody else, so all I know is I want them to sleep well, rest well, eat well, and I'll see them again on Monday.